It's the opener of semifinal day here in Wichita at 6A. The Olathe Northwest Ravens, the number two seed, 22 and one on the season, taking on the Mays Eagles, the number three seed with a record of 21 and two. This is a rematch of a game from January 20th. Mays won that ball game over Olathe Northwest, 57-49. And if you heard Olathe Northwest record, you realize that is their lone defeat this season. We'll see how it plays out here today. Olathe Northwest in the white uniforms. Mays in the red. Olathe Northwest winning the tap. Their starters today, Ashlyn Lander, Kelsey Brooks, Vashti Neal, Jayla Jackson, and Mikey Crawl, 6'3". Manning the post position inside. We'll see if they try to get it to her early in this one. She's being guarded by a 6'1 freshman, Karen Swenson. So not only a height advantage for Crawl, but a strength advantage in there as well. A junior against the freshman. You can see Swenson trying to fight around in the post, and she gets the steal on the entry pass. Here come the Mays Lady Eagles. Karen Swenson, Mackenzie Hartzog, Journey Reed, Kelsey Stewart, and Paige Lungwitz, the starters for Coach Jared Handy as they turn it over on their opening possession. Olathe Northwest, a 62-41 winner over Wichita South on Wednesday. Mays defeated Shawnee Mission Northwest 51-31. Free throw line jumper won't fall for Jayla Jackson. And Journey Reed has the Mays rebound. Reed eight boards to lead the Lady Eagles in that quarterfinal win two days ago. Swenson, high post. She had a big game on Wednesday with 16 points. Rebound off the fingertips of Kelsey Stewart. It will be Raven basketball. Winner will play for the state championship tomorrow at 4 p.m. Big Mays crowd on hand as they have a short drive in. To the bucket, Vashti Neal, and she's fouled. Not as big a group down from Olathe, but a three-hour drive makes that a little more understandable. In fact, the Olathe Northwest team stayed in the Wichita area the past two days rather than busing home and busing back for this game. While well, the Mays team obviously got to sleep in their own beds the last two nights. Neal trying to break the ice and open the scoring in this one, and she does. Vashti Neal, an excellent shooter, had 15 points in their first round win. And she opens the scoring today. one nothing Ravens and another Mays turnover. Their second, both of them, have been unforced errors. Both of these teams thrive off of opposition turnovers. Olathe Northwest excelled at that in the first game. Kelsey Brooks, in fact, had 10 steals in that game for Olathe Northwest. They forced 25 turnovers in their opening win. Mays forced 16. That's Crawl out on the wing looking for some help. Able to get it to the point guard Lander, the only senior starter for this Olathe Northwest team. Four juniors in the starting lineup with her. This is Brooks out front. She had the double-double in the opening round win. 
And that ball knocked off her leg. Possession will go to Mays. Two turnovers each way as we are not quite two and a half minutes in. Pull-up jumper is off, but a foul will get Kelsey Stewart to the free throw line. Whistle against Vashti Neal. And it will be Kelsey Stewart at the free throw line. Around and out again. And still a one to nothing score. Lander, right wing, takes it top of the key. This is Neal looking inside for Crawl. Instead has to give it to Jackson. Swenson doing a good job denying in the post. A foul against Paige Lungwitz of Mays. She reached in and made contact. First foul against the Lady Eagles. Three-pointer from the left wing is in and out for Brooks. Mays will hustle it the other way. Lungwitz down the lane, and she took an extra step. Paige Lungwitz, their leading scorer for the season, turns it over with a traveling violation. We've played three minutes. One point has been scored. In fact, we've only had three attempted field goals, two by the Ravens. They get an open look here for Lander. Crawl with the rebound. And had it knocked away as she tried to take it back up. And then a foul on the Ravens. It'll be on Jayla Jackson. Mikey Crawl was in some early foul trouble in the first game of the tournament for Olathe Northwest against Wichita South. She still put up 13 points, 9 boards. They need her to be effective in this one. Lisa Tomasu is in for Mays. Hartzog pulls back on a three, tries to get it down low, and picked off by Jayla Jackson. Jackson finds a crease. Swenson has the rebound, but stolen by Lander. Jackson on the glass, and she'll go to the line. Olathe Northwest staying active around the rim. Swenson picks up the Mays foul. That is one player the Lady Eagles would like to keep in the game as effective as she was Wednesday. And she's done a good job guarding Crawl so far. Jackson gets the roll. You look at Jared Handy, the Mays coach. 21 and 2 this season. the first time they've been to the semifinals in three years. First round losses each of the last two seasons. They performed well in their opening game against Shawnee Mission Northwest. Now Brooks takes it away. All the way, but a foul will get her to the line as she was unable to complete the lay-in. A great defense again from Kelsey Brooks. She had 10 swipes in the first round game. Took that one right away from Tomasu. All the Olathe Northwest points coming at the line so far. It's now 4-0. The Ravens go to the bench. Shea Shipman is in. Shayla Jamison as well. In and out for Brooks. Mays will look for their first points. We're halfway through the opening period. Kristen Parks is in for Mays. So is Daly Handy and her jump shot right on the money. She did have a foot on the line. 
That will perhaps get the Mays Lady Eagles going a bit. Brooks, nice drive. Lungwitz has the rebound. Pitch it ahead for Hartzog. Now to Lungwitz. Over to Kirsten Parks. And the baseline jumper is on. Parks and Handy off the bench start the scoring for Mays. We're tied at four. Jamison down the baseline, knocked away. Timeout by Mays. Take a look at the Mays defense, which has kept Olathe Northwest without a field goal so far. Even when the Ravens have been able to get to the basket, there have been red shirts swarming underneath. Large gathering of red shirts in from Mays as you get a look at Joel Brandstrom, the Olathe Northwest coach. The only head coach in program history. School not quite a decade old. Mays basketball. Stewart, the point guard, a senior, gives it to Lungwitz. Nice spin move to get into the lane. Ball knocked away, saved on the baseline by Handy, but then Crawl deflects and intercepts. Both teams have shown some swarming defense early on in this one. Olathe Northwest still looking for that first field goal. They're four of six at the line. They go into Crawl. There's the first bucket, and she draws another foul. Mikey Crawl, six foot three. She averages 11 points, seven rebounds. Just a junior. She committed to play at Wisconsin. Great position inside. She had Daly Handy sealed off. And a chance for a three point play. Crawl will get a break. Jayla Jackson back for Olathe Northwest. Hannah Kovarik in as well for the Ravens, a senior off the bench. Stewart with a jumper all the way around the rim before it popped out. Now Brooks in a hurry. Look at the Mays defense, all five shirts back to Garter. Jackson short, Brooks the rebound. Able to get it out to Kovarik. Ravens playing right now without a true post presence. Kovarik holds it on the wing, now out to Jackson. Jackson, two points so far, pull-up jumper off the heel. But Neal saves the long board. Now they fire it down low, and Shea Shipman, the six-foot sophomore, banks it home. Ravens lead it by five. And Jackson. The fancy dribbling, and Brooks took a second step before she put that one on the deck. Fourth, Olathe Northwest turnover. Kinsey Hartzog back in for Mays. Senior guard had just four points in their first round game. Journey Reed looking for space on the baseline. 
Ravens will push it the other way. Shipman, who can shoot threes, gives it up to Kovarik. They'll get into a set. 40 seconds to go. First quarter, Brooks all the way to the rack. Lost the handle momentarily. Ravens keep possession. Jackson's three block, but she gets it back. Battling two, now three Eagles. Kneel to the ground to save it. Timeout, Olathe Northwest. Joel Brandstrom from the opposite side of the court screaming for a 30-second timeout to keep possession for his team with 24 seconds to go in the period. Jared Handy's team handing Olathe Northwest their only loss of the year on January 20th. The two losses for Mays. Championship of the Glacier's Edge Tournament to Olathe South, who will play here later today against Wichita Heights in the second girls semifinal. And back in December against Salina South, Mays has won 11 straight games into today. Ravens will likely try to hold for the final shot of the quarter. Kovarik short from three. The rebound is out of bounds and will stay with the Ravens. Mays crowd wanted a foul as Daly Handy hit the ground going after the board. Joel Brandstrom gets Mikey Crawl back into the game. They'll go right inside to her, but a foul came first. And that'll be on Karen Swenson, number two on the Mays freshman. She checks out Braden Bird. They gave him some big minutes on Wednesday. The 5'11 sophomore will replace her. Nine seconds to go in the quarter. They try to go into crawl, but it's stolen. Longwitz, lead pass, out of bounds. Kelsey Stewart was out there, but they could not quite connect. Jackson to the bench as Kelsey Brooks returns. Olathe Northwest will have to hurry this one up the court. Brooks from midcourt. We're done with one quarter. Olathe Northwest took a while to make a basket, and they're only 2 of 12, but they've gone to the line seven times, and after a quarter on the KSHSAA Network, in our first semifinal of the day, lead Mays 9 to 4. Second quarter here in Wichita. Mays basketball to open the quarter. Lungwitz kept off the scoreboard so far. Mays held to just two of five from the field. And a steal by Brooks. Coasting the other way, and she missed the layup. But great hustle by Shayla Jamison to be there for the rebound. Quickly back inside to crawl. 
Rebound knocked around out to Lungwitz. Finally puts two hands on the basketball. Mays has it again. Hartzog, a three. Got it. Mackenzie Hartzog draws Mays within two. Now a steal. Stewart up to Hartzog against two Ravens. She'll go to the line. Great transition game by Mays. Mackenzie Hartzog after cashing a three. Goes to the line for a pair of free throws. Here's a look at the group that made the drive down from Olathe to support their team. Hartzog makes it a one-point game. Three-pointer too strong for Neal. And a rebound foul on Olathe Northwest. Mikey Crawl inside, fighting for position, picks up her first. Jayla Jackson back in for Olathe Northwest. They knock a ball free, and Jackson gets to it. Ravens force a turnover. Jackson spinning into the lane. Travel will give it back to Mays. Both teams fighting the turnover bug. Mays with nine. Olathe Northwest with eight. Both these teams, as we mentioned at the top, really thrive on forcing turnovers. Crawl with a steal. Jackson. She's tied up. Jackson on the inbounds, lays it in. Great execution by Olathe Northwest and a strong cut by Jayla Jackson. Ashlyn Lander with the nice pass at the other end, a nice pass, and Paige Lungwitz, the beneficiary, lays it in. That'll be Mays basketball. Mays with a chance to take the lead. A foul on Olathe Northwest. Jayla Jackson a little too aggressive. Last basket for the Lady Eagles. Lungwitz on the backdoor cut. Both teams pressure so much defensively. Backdoor baskets might be available in this one. Reed has to kick it out. Mays will keep it. Joel Brandstrom's team looking for a spot in the championship. Tomorrow afternoon at 4, loser will play in the third place game at noon tomorrow. Mays looking for their first lead of the game. 
Bailey Handy's back in. Lost her footing, lost the ball, but it was touched by a Raven. Good hustle. Handy and Mikey Crawl both going to the floor. Now Karen Swenson back for Mays. Remember, she's got two fouls. Jared Handy making the tough call to get his freshman post back into the game. As Lander takes it away from Lungwitz. One on two the other way. Stops. Missed it. And out of bounds to Olathe Northwest. What a steal by Ashlyn Lander. Ripping it away from Lungwitz. Ashti Neal looking to attack. Out for Jamison. Now Shea Shipman. They get it inside for Crawl, but off her fingertips. She couldn't make the grab. Mays trying to front in the post. Make those entry passes tough for Olathe Northwest. And they've been unable to connect with Crawl much. She's made her only shot. It was a three-point play. She hit the free throw, but... Not had much success in there. Now she gets a steal as it goes through Swenson's hands. Brooks on the push. Good retreat by the Lady Eagles. Three from the corner. Off for Jamison. Crawl with the rebound. Wants to take it back up, and she's tied up by Journey Reed. Great defense on the interior again by the Mays Lady Eagles. They are anything but intimidated inside against Mikey Crawl. Been stuck at 11 to 10 for a while. Mays still looking for their first lead and a foul whistled against the Ravens. Second foul on Shayla Jamison. Lander back in. Jamison out. Brooks has the steal. That'll stay with the Ravens. Brooks from out front. Left the three short. And Lander whistled for the foul, chasing down the rebound. That'll put Mays into the bonus. Olathe Northwest has been cold from outside. They are 0 of 7 beyond the three-point arc and only 3 of 18 shooting overall. Mays just hasn't been able to get shots. 4 of 7 from the field and 2 of 3 from deep. They've turned it over 13 times. Jared Handy's team also hadn't made a free throw until that one by Lungwitz. Lungwitz shooting to give Mays their first lead of the game. There it is. Paige Lungwitz with four. Lady Eagles on top for the first time. Neal. Bangs home the three. She hit for 15 points in their first round win, including three threes and a big one there. Hartzog to answer. The Ravens with a chance to extend the lead. Neal thought about it again. Now Brooks down the baseline through two defenders. Rebound tipped to her. She scores it off the glass. 
Well, Latham Northwest continues to dominate the rebound column. Timeout Mays. Joel Brandstrom fired up about his team's effort. Great response by the Ravens. Mays got the lead, and Latham Northwest scores on their next two possessions. Vashti Neal hitting the three, their first and eight attempts, and then the offensive board and stick back bucket for Brooks. It was the tenth offensive rebound by Olathe Northwest in this first half. Amaze had just taken the lead, and Vashti Neal fired up as she puts her team back on top with that triple. She has four points off the bench. Three minutes to play, first half. Mays shooting 50%, but they've only taken eight shots because of plays like that. That's their 14th first half turnover. Both teams go pretty deep. They like to play about nine each. Depth and fatigue shouldn't be a huge issue. Olathe Northwest bringing constant defensive pressure. Brooks trying to get it to crawl, and Swenson, who's still playing with two fouls, gets the nice steal. Where do the Lady Eagles go for a basket? Try to get it to Swenson on a cut. Brooks deflected it. Shipman stole it. Neal for three again. Shipman with the offensive rebound. Loose on the floor. Timeout Mays. That's the third timeout they've taken in the first half, but Jared Handy wanting to make sure his team retained possession after finally hustling down a board. Rest of our schedule today, our 445 game will be our first boys semifinal. As the top seed, Blue Valley Northwest, takes on Topeka at 6.30. Top seed on the girls' side, Wichita Heights, undefeated at 23-0. will take on Olathe South, one of their longtime rivals. It'll be the fifth time in six years they've met here in the 6A state tournament. And we'll make it a Wichita Heights doubleheader as their boys, the number two seed, wrap up the night at 8.15 against Blue Valley North. Who had an impressive win to end yesterday's action over Blue Valley, or excuse me, over Wichita North and Connor Frankamp. Third place in championship games tomorrow, 12, 2, 4, and 6 15. We've got them all for you here on KSHSAA Network. Mays Lady Eagles break the huddle. Their five will be Lungwitz, Hartzog, Handy, Reed, and Swenson. Olathe Northwest with Neal, Shipman, Lander, Kovarik, and Crawl in the game. A foul on the Ravens. against Shea Shipman. Eighth team foul. Daly handy to the free throw line for Mays. The freshman did not score in their opening win over Shawnee Mission Northwest. Mikey Crawl has the rebound for Olathe Northwest. 17-8, the rebound advantage for the Ravens. Shipman will kick it out as they collapse in the post. Shipman will drive. Runner high off the window won't go. Neal has it. Back to the rack. And Swenson had it for a moment and then lost it and off her foot. (laughs) 
And bounds quickly to crawl. She wants to take it. And gets the bounce. She's got five points. So late the Northwest with their biggest lead. Up by six. Lander with a steal. Out in front of everybody. Missed the lay-in. The Ravens had a chance to really put the hammer down here before halftime. Mays with a chance to battle back a bit as Shipman is called for the foul. That'll be her second. Lindsey Poulter in for the Ravens, 5'10", senior. Too strong on the free throw for Reed. Mays continuing to struggle at the line. They are two of seven from the stripe. That plus the turnovers, plus the deficit in the rebounds. They're lucky to only be down six. Lander blocked. They get it to Kovarek for an open three. And now the lead is nine as Hannah Kovarek connects from deep. Swenson, well short. Joel Branstrom wants his team to go. Not hold for the final shot of the half. Crawl on the block in a double team. Tip try won't go, but a foul on Mays. And it's on Karen Swenson. Her third. Jared Handy had been able to get by with her in for about five minutes with two fouls. She picks up her third with six seconds to go before half. Kelsey Stewart back for Mays. Another free throw coming for Lindsey Poulter. Long look at it. Missed it. Lady Eagles have to hurry. Hartzog. A little bit in front of midcourt. And halftime is here. Olathe Northwest struggled shooting the basketball, but they dominate on the glass and for 16 turnovers. And Joel Brandstrom's crew with a quick huddle before they head to the locker room, leading Mays at the break. 21 to 12 on the KSHSAA network.
Stephen Davis with you from Charles Koch Arena in Wichita. We get set for the second half of our first of four semifinals today. Olathe Northwest on top of Mays, 21-12. Olathe Northwest attempted 20 more shots than Mays in the first half. Jared Handy's team only four of nine from the field. While Olathe Northwest was seven of 29. That's only 24%. Good defense by Mays and a positive sign for them, but... They need to take better care of the basketball. They turned it over 16 times in that first half. Late the Northwest, 12 turnovers, but plus 13 in the rebounds. They had 15 offensive boards. Mikey Crawl inside, misses the shot. Paige Lungwitz with the board for Mays. They push it ahead, looking for a quick look in transition. Swenson blocked by Crawl, but they get her for a foul. It'll be two against Mikey Crawl. Kieran Swenson, the Mays freshman, three first-half fouls. But they need her on the floor, so she gets the start here in the second half. She was held scoreless in the first half. And off the mark on that free throw. Joel Brandstrom's team dominating the rebounds. And winning that all-important turnover battle today between two teams that really thrive on turnovers. Swenson gets that one. Mays only four of nine at the free throw line. Neal from the corner. She had one three in the first half. Picking up full court on Lungwitz. Called for a hand check. Her second foul. Five Ravens with two fouls each. Journey Reed shovels it off to Hartzog. Longwitz open in the corner. Hits the three. That's what the Mays Lady Eagles need. Paige Longwitz with the triple. She has seven points to lead them in scoring. They're back within five. Lander down the lane. Left hand shot banks in for Ashlyn Lander. So the message in the Olathe Northwest locker room at halftime was be patient. Those inside shots will fall. They had a lot of good looks at the basket in that first half that just wouldn't drop. Swenson in the lane. Too strong. Stewart takes the rebound away. And Hartzog is fouled. Fouls on Ashlyn Lander. Two on her. So now six Ravens with two fouls each. Hartzog sinks the free throw. Mays gets opportunities at the line. They need to capitalize. There's Brooks spinning baseline. Tough shot for Kelsey Brooks. Eagles quickly the other way, and Lungwitz fouled by Brooks. Brooks had the big game Wednesday, 15 points, 10 steals. Five points, three assists, two steals for her so far in this one. Ravens by eight. Biggest lead was the halftime margin of nine. Stewart kicks it out to Swenson, who's not a three-point shooter. Now they look for Swenson in the, or excuse me, Lungwitz in the post. Got around the first defender and drew a foul on the second. And the junior, Paige Lungwitz. Draws the foul on Mikey Crawl, three against the Olathe Northwest center. And five fouls already this half. 
against the Ravens. Crawl will have to come out. Shea Shipman in a couple possessions ago. Longwitz from the corner. Knocked in the three. Both free throws here. Five and the half for her. Nine for the game for Paige Lungwitz and Mays now. Shows a zone defense. A little trapping action. Jackson on the wing. Fans it out. Now to Neal in the corner. Three-pointer. Around and good for Vashti Neal. The bomber from three gets her second. Olathe Northwest back by nine. Matching their biggest lead. Swenson, no. Has her own rebound. Double teamed and fouled. And Neal knows what to do with it if you give her a little space. That's one way to beat his own defense. Just shoot over the top of it. Foul was on Shea Shipman, her third, and suddenly foul's becoming an issue for Olathe Northwest. Six already this half, none against Mays. We haven't even played three minutes. Lander corralling the loose rebound. Olathe Northwest has it, and while the fouls are mounting a bit, they still have a big lead as Hartzog steals a pass. Over to Lungwitz. She walked with it. You can tell she's trying to be more aggressive offensively this half. A little too jumpy that time. Joel Brandstrom trying to keep his team from fouling. I've been slap happy to open the third quarter. Kelsey Brooks down the lane, off to Poulter who banks it in. Lindsey Poulter just into the game, a big bucket from the senior. And now it's a 10-point game at the other end. Swenson partially blocked by Poulter. Rebound loose. Ravens have it up ahead to Brooks for the lay-in. Olathe Northwest starting to convert on some of those shots they missed in the first half. Another near steal there. Brooks out in front of everybody. Even if she's got a defender with her, she's going to outrun most people. You cannot give her a head start. Jared Handy sees his team now down by 12. Remember, Mays beat Olathe Northwest when they met in the regular season. Olathe Northwest's only loss this year. Kirsten Parks is in the game along with Lisa Thomasu. Brooks forces the turnover. Deflected the pass, went after it, and it was last touched by Swenson. I think it went off her leg. Kelsey Brooks with the active hands again defensively. She and Neal, the leading Ravens scorers, with seven each in the game. Here's Jackson getting into the lane. Reverse layup is good. Five different Ravens have scored here in the second half. They lead by 14. And a travel against Daly Handy. Watch this move from Jayla Jackson. Around her defender, step through, and the tough reverse angle. Mays crowd and bench did not like that last travel call was their 19th turnover of the game. Brooks down the lane. Draws a foul. First this half against the Lady Eagles. Second of the game against Handy. Handy. 
Brooks to the line. Anna Kovarik is in. You mentioned Olathe Northwest struggled at shooting in the first half, 24%. They're 6 of 8 here in the second half. That'll make up for foul trouble. Brooks hits them both. She has nine. The reason she's their leading scorer this year on a very balanced team. She has the capability of going for 20 on any given night. Handy's jumper is off. Offensive board for Bird. She'll go to the line. Braden Bird. Sophomore will get a couple free throws. That fouls on Lindsey Poulter. And seven team fouls on Olathe Northwest, so Mays will be shooting a lot of free throws the rest of the way, you would figure. Eagles now 9 of 16 at the free throw line. 6 of 9 already this half. Bird gets them both. Three new Eagles into the game. Swenson returns along with Reed and Hartzog. Parks and Lungwitz stay. I'll show that 1-2-2 half-court zone again. And a turnover. Lungwitz against Brooks. Offensive foul. Second on Lungwitz. Olathe Northwest with a 14-point lead. Inside, Jackson scores. 38-22, Olathe Northwest letting out their offensive frustrations here in the third quarter. Swenson recovers. Gets it over to Lungwitz, and she's fouled. It'll be three on Jackson. If not for the fouls against the Ravens, they would have to be feeling really good right now, but the fact they have eight team fouls already this half and three players with three apiece, including their... Top two options inside. They can't be too comfortable. Poulter squeezing the rebound. She's giving him some big minutes right now inside. Lander looking for help. Finds Jamison. Three reserves in the game right now for Olathe Northwest. Kovarik fouled on her way to the basket. Good drive by Hannah Kovarik. It's Kirsten Parks called for the foul. Hannah Kovarik hit a three-pointer in the first half. Kelsey Stewart, senior guard, back in for Mays. They start a pair of seniors. Hartzog along with Stewart. Daly handy with the rebound. Hartzog missed the shot and then Parks threw it off the leg of a Raven. One forty-five to play third quarter. Latham Northwest has gradually extended this lead since Mays took their lone lead at 12-11. Olathe Northwest then scored the final 10 of the half, and they've kept it rolling here in the third quarter. Jackson fouled. The Ravens have been much more the aggressors in the third quarter. Jayla Jackson, eight points today. 
Three of three at the line. She's a strong driver. Almost got that one to roll home. That one a little short. Reed has the rebound for Mays. Lungwitz out of the game right now for the Lady Eagles. She's at the table waiting to check in. Stewart wants to attack. And draws a foul on Jackson, her fourth. Kelsey Stewart strong to the bucket. There's Lungwitz returning for Mays. Shea Shipman in for Olathe Northwest. Jackson goes out with the four fouls. Stewart gets that one. A steal. Parks between two defenders gets it. Kirsten Parks with the bucket. Full court pressure again. They break it, though, and Poulter scores plus the foul. Great press break by the Ravens. the Northwest with great ball movement got that up court in a hurry and Poulter with the concentration to finish while Kelsey Stewart was coming in underneath. And Lindsay Poulter with some big minutes here in the third quarter. She played only one minute in the first half. She's had to play most of this third quarter for Joel Brandstrom with Crawl and Shipman both having three fouls. Off on the free throw with the lead back to 16 for Olathe Northwest as they stop the mini run by Mays with that beautiful transition basket against the press. Hartzog open, front and center. Off the heel, rebound battle. Olathe Northwest, they've gotten all the rebounds today, it seems like. Plus 10 on the boards. They do not have an offensive rebound this half, but they haven't had many chances. They're 8 of 10 shooting this period. 20 seconds to go, third quarter. Olathe Northwest looks like they might hold for the final shot. Jamison in the corner. Up top to Shipman, open three. A little short. Rebound off Mays. It'll be Olathe Northwest ball. And still plenty of time to work with, five and a half seconds. Mikey Crawl back in. Crawl will inbound to Lander. Over to Brooks. Two seconds down to one. Brooks had it knocked away. A third quarter in the books. A third quarter dominated by Olathe Northwest. 20 points that period alone for the Ravens after they put up 21 in the entire first half. Thanks to 8 of 11 shooting. Fourth quarter on the way. Olathe Northwest up by 16 on the KSHSAA network.
Olathe Northwest, eight minutes away from being the first entrant into the championship games tomorrow. Joel Brandstrom's 22-1 Ravens leading Mays, 21-2 on the year by 16. Trying to avenge their only loss of the season in the process. Mays will need a big rally this period. They are down by more points than they have scored in any quarter today. Scored four in the first, eight in the second, 13 in the third. Their offense has been getting better. But so has Olathe Northwest's. Nine, 12, and then a 20-point third quarter. They've led by as many as 17. Swenson inside scores it for Mays. Just her fourth point. Maybe something to get the Lady Eagles jump started. Some backcourt pressure. Ravens get it across with the pass to Lander. She's blocked. But it will stay with Olathe Northwest. Taryn Swenson, 6'1", just a freshman. Need more baskets like that from her here in the fourth quarter if they hope to rally. A little patience this time from Olathe Northwest. They shot 8 of 11 in the third quarter after being only 7 of 29 the entire first half. Lander had it knocked away, but a foul against Hartzog of Mays. Last foul before Olathe Northwest will be in the bonus. Joel Brandstrom directing traffic for his team. Shipman finds Brooks in the corner. And again, Olathe Northwest wanting to be patient. Putting the brakes on their offense. Now Brooks to the bucket. And a foul on the floor before she could get the shot up. Seventh team foul. Strength there by Kelsey Brooks to go ahead and put that one up on the backboard after she was fouled. But this will be a one-and-one one situation. Olathe Northwest, 8 of 16 at the foul line today. Big one by Brooks. She's the first player in this game into double digits. She has five assists as well today. She's only a junior. Four junior starters for Olathe Northwest. They're four leading scorers. They're going to be very strong again next season. Led by number 15 there. Jump shot missing from the corner. Brooks the long rebound. Up court. Lays it in. In between a couple eagles. Ball poked away. It rolls to crawl. Olathe Northwest matching their biggest lead of the game. Looking to put the hammer down. Lander and one. Here's Brooks on the fast break. One eagle in front, one behind. No problem. A new platoon in for Mays. Lander shooting to give Olathe Northwest a 20-point lead. Five points for Lander. 47 to 27 with 540 to play. Hartzog fouled on the baseline. We've got Brooks trying to block it from behind.
Good crowd making the short drive from Mays for the game today. Hartzog knocks them both in. She has seven. Now a steal by Hartzog. Lander takes it back. Timeout, Olathe Northwest. Joel Pranstrom at the other end of the court was able to call for the timeout. Winner plays for the state championship in 6A tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Loser will play for third place at noon tomorrow. Ashland Lander cashing the bucket plus the foul a few moments ago. She's the only senior starter for this Raven team, and she's leaving quite a legacy as well, the Northwest girls program has been built into a force to be reckoned with. I mentioned four junior starters for them. The rest of their rotation, though, features a couple seniors and a sophomore and a freshman. Paige Lungwitz in for Mays as they slap on full court pressure. And a steal, at least for a moment. Now a tie-up as everybody goes to the floor. Great hustle, both sides. Arrow keeps it with the Ravens. Jared Handy needing steals from his team. Now they commit a foul as Stewart grabbed Lander on the inbounds. One and one for Ashlyn Lander. Another one for the senior. Three of three at the line. She has seven in the game. Five here in the fourth quarter. Oh, wipe that basket off. A lane violation against Jayla Jackson of the Ravens. In fact, wipe off the shot attempt. So still a 19-point game. Mays has had trouble getting shots today. They're only 7 of 20. Now they turn it over for the 25th time. Crawl trapped and a blocking foul. She was trying to dribble out of it. That'll put Olathe Northwest into the double bonus. Two shots the rest of the way. They have outscored Mays in every quarter today. Mays did take a brief lead. At 12 to 11. Olathe Northwest scored the last 10 then of the first half and they have not looked back. Four new Eagles in, led by Hartzog. A lead now 21. Longwitz lost it, goes back to get it. Reed's pass nearly picked off. Swenson had it knocked away. 
Eagles will keep it. Olathe Northwest foul on Lander, her third. Olathe Northwest able to avoid that foul trouble becoming too serious. They basically stopped fouling for about a five-minute stretch. Shea Shipman back into the game. Longwitz hits them both. She has 11 to lead Mays today. She's only a junior. She will be back next year. Again, full court pressure from the Eagles. Jayla Jackson being asked to leave the game for Olathe Northwest. Neal will replace her. Jackson will go right back to the scorer's table. Trap on the inbounds. Lander fouled. Stewart fell down trying to guard her and grabbed the jersey. Free throws for Ashlyn Lander. Still perfect at the line. Now Jackson gets to come in. Lander automatic at the line today. And a rebound for Jackson. Mays has it back. Hartzog. Is firing from three. Jackson another rebound. Her sixth. A foul on the Lady Eagles. Third against Reed. Olathe Northwest completely turning the tables today. Mays won when they met in the regular season, 57-49. That game in Mays on January 20th. But it has been all Ravens today. Forcing 25 turnovers. Out rebounding Mays, 32-21. And picking up the shooting here in the second half. 0 for 2 for Brooks. Still a 21-point game. We're now under 4 to play. Swenson inside, triple team. Brooks steals it, and she's fouled. Brooks to the line. Parks back in for Mays.
An official is at the scorer's table checking on an issue. Not much has gone right today for Mays. Some long faces on that bench. We're ready to go again, and Brooks hits that free throw. She'd missed her last four. She has 13 points. That leads everybody today. Mays only one field goal here in the fourth quarter. Longwitz a deep three. Brooks has the rebound. Poked away, but she recovers and then fouled. Third against Daly Handy. Latham Northwest doing everything they need to do to hang on to this big lead and put themselves in position for a championship tomorrow. Megan Hawkinson is in for the first time for Mays. 5'9", junior. Brooks hits them both. Shayla Jamison. Back in for the Ravens. Three-pointer missing for Hawkinson. Parks can't put it back in. Brooks has it. Ahead to Jamison. All the way. Handy has the maze rebound. Head the other direction. Hartzog's pass. Knocked away and stolen by Jackson, but she pushed off after coming up with the basketball. That'll be five fouls on Jayla Jackson. Good defensive play after the deflection to steal it, and then a little bit of an unnecessary push. She fouls out nine points today. Neal replacing her. Her team up by 24. Their biggest lead. Hawkinson, well short. Keep it alive. Rebound foul against Olathe Northwest. Hawkinson will go to the line. Abby Ibarra in for Mays. Not quite three minutes to go. Hawkinson missed them both. Uh, that'll stay with the Lady Eagles of Jared Handy. Parks, short, has the rebound. Andy hits a three. Mays will take a timeout. Daily Handy, just a freshman. Big part of the future for the Mays Lady Eagles. Our next game, number one seed on the boys' side, Blue Valley Northwest, takes on the Topeka Trojans. 
Blue Valley Northwest, very impressive yesterday, dispatching Dodge City. Topeka High rallied in the fourth quarter for a five-point win against Olathe South. Brooks is fouled. Go back to the Olathe Northwest free throw line. Brooks, a rough day at the line. She is 7 of 13. Got that one. Not a great free throw shooter. I'm sure she would expect to hit more than 8 out of 14. She does have 16 points, though, 7 of them here in the fourth quarter. She checks out. Crawl is back in. And Shipman has another steal for the Ravens. They've forced 29 turnovers this afternoon. Shalea Jamison to the bucket. Jamison knocks it free and goes to the floor to tie up Handy. Jamison's the freshman that plays for Olathe Northwest. Just 5'6". Shalea Jamison. Good drive and basket. Shipman, another deflection. Up ahead to Neal. Blocked. And they'll call it a tie-up. Tomasu with the good defense. Good block in transition. Great defense. Just over two minutes to play. Shipman near the corner. Good, a two-pointer for Shea Shipman. Latham Northwest has 60 on the board today. Another steal, this one by Jamison. Kovarek holds it near midcourt. Over to Shipman. And a foul as Olathe Northwest tries to run off some more time. on Neal. We'll go to the Mays free throw line. Two student sections still involved in this game. A short drive enabling Mays to have the much larger section about oh, ten times bigger probably. Has not played a role in the game. Joel Brandstrom clears his bench. Sidney Mortensen, Lindsey Poulter, Ashley Heller, Allie Olson all into the game. Tomasu missed them both. Under a minute to go. 60 to 34, Olathe Northwest. They'll get their first ever shot at a championship tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock. Mays will play for third place at noon tomorrow. Jamison trying to get it to Poulter. Now a foul on Olathe Northwest after 
Kalen Helm had the ball for Mays. Just the third loss of the season for the Mays Lady Eagles and by far the biggest margin. The previous two losses had been by seven points each. This one's going to be 20 plus. Speaking to Olathe Northwest's dominance today. They'll get either Wichita Heights or their Sunflower League rival, city rival, Olathe South tomorrow for the championship. Those two teams meeting later tonight at about 6.30. We'll have it here on the KSHSAA network. Another steal by the Ravens. Why not? It's their 18th of the day. They'll dribble out the last few seconds. Olathe Northwest will play for the 6A Girls Championship tomorrow afternoon, 60-35. to They defeat the Mays Lady Eagles in an impressive, impressive display today. They struggled shooting the ball in the first half, cranked that up in the second half while continuing to defend and rebound extremely well on their way to the 25-point victory. Ravens celebrate the victory. Ashlyn Lander, a big part of it, the senior. For the bucket as they pulled away for the big win. Olathe Northwest celebrating with their students who made the drive down. 60 to 35, they'll play for the championship tomorrow on the KSHSAA Network.